Hey guys, it's Brian with Brandstack.co and today I'm gonna show you the customizations and options for one of my favorite sections we've ever developed and that is fancy multi-columns. So we are here on the back end of my website. We're going to find the theme where we've already installed this section and we're going to click customize. And this is gonna open up the customizer. We're gonna find the page where we want to add this section. We're gonna do it right here on our home page, and we're gonna use it as kind of a way to show off a couple videos we've been making, some Shopify tips and tricks. So over here on the left, we're going to add a new section. Let's do it right beneath this uh, quote right here. So we're gonna click add section and then we're gonna type in fancy. We're gonna find S and B fancy multi columns and it's going to add it just uh, like this with a couple uh, default customizations and colors and stuff like that. So we can click on the section over here. Now this is one of those sections that has both a section and some blocks. So this is the section over here are the individual blocks which is uh, one block per column that you want to add. So we're gonna play with the section settings first. We click it and then over here on the right, we can go through all of the customizations. First, we can change the background color, change it to whatever you want it to be. We're gonna keep it white for this and then we can increase uh, the bottom and the top padding. We're gonna leave it right around 72 is kind of what we've done. Although on the top here, that's pretty high, so we might lower it there. Um, so yeah, you can increase the top and bottom padding. Now what we can do now is make the section full width. Uh, as you can see, they start out kind of small by default. So you can make it full width. Now this is not gonna be the full width of the screen, but it's going to be the full width of the container that you've set uh, over in your theme settings. We also have the option to hide this on desktop or hide it on mobile. Um, and then we can start playing with the section heading. So we could say, check out some of our Shopify tips and tricks. We can increase or decrease the heading size. We're gonna keep it at around 40. And then we can change the heading color. We're gonna make it purple to be on brand for our website. And then we have the option to have this heading be initial, which is how you've typed it out, lowercase or uppercase. We're gonna keep it initial, and then we can change the alignment. We're gonna keep it centered. Now next we have our description text, which is the text beneath the heading. Uh, we can make it a little bit smaller here. We're gonna go with like 15, and then we can actually change out the description itself. We'll say every Tuesday, we upload new Shopify tips and tricks. Check out a few of our favorites below. And then we can also change the text color here as well. We're gonna keep it black and then we are going to center it. Uh, now we also can start playing around with the box border radius. So this is the corner radius of each of these individual boxes. Uh, so you can go all the way up to 50, make it nice and round. You can have it at zero. Uh, our website uses 16 for almost all content. So we're gonna make it 16. Um, and then we can uh, play with the box image radius. In just a minute, you're gonna see that I'm going to upload some images to each individual box, and that is the radius for those images. We're gonna keep it high for a minute uh, at 50 pixels, just because I wanna show you what it looks like, looks like, and then we'll pop back over here to fix it. And then the last radius option is the button radius. So this is the radius for the actual buttons over here. Uh, so we can either have them at zero, uh, we can have a nice rounded radius or we can have it as like a pill. We're gonna keep it as a pill for now. And then the last section setting is we can change the appearance on mobile to either slide like this or to stack like this. Uh, and if it's on slider, you'll see here on the right, you can kind of see the next um, box. That way it, it, it's obvious that you can slide to it. Okay, so now that we've gone through the section settings, we're gonna jump over to the first block, uh, this one right here. So over here, we're gonna hit features, that's this first block. Now, first we can change the color of the background. We're gonna keep it white. We can change the box shadow. Uh, we can make it purple if we want. That's very ugly, we're gonna not do that. Um, and I just hit undo. Sometimes when you do that, you have to save and refresh it to get it back to the 
original color, there we go. Now, this is what I was talking about a minute ago. We can upload an image. Uh, so we're gonna do this one right here. And you'll see the image kind of starts at this size by default, uh, but we can increase this image size and um, yeah, I'll, I'll jump back to image size here in a minute. I wanna talk first about the fact that you can also select a second image. So we're going to do that just to show it off here for a second, but in this case, I'm, I'm going to delete it in a minute. But we can upload a second image, and the reason we want to maybe do that is to show a second image on hover. So you'll see once I've uploaded a second image, if I come here, you'll see that second image show up when I hover over it. You also have the option to display the second image as the default on mobile. So if I click that, this top one is the default on desktop and will show the second one on hover. But if we pop over to mobile, the second image is the default image on mobile. So there is that option. We are going to get rid of the image just because it doesn't really apply to this thing that I'm building right now. So next we have the image size option. So you'll see here on, on mobile, it kind of looks messed up and that's because you can go as high up to 300 pixels or as low as 30 pixels. So we're gonna go all the way here. Now on, on mobile, that's too big, but on desktop, that's too small. So it's really finding the right balance. If you want it to be the exact width of the box, you simply click this checkbox right here, make image the full width of the box. And then on both desktop and mobile, you'll see that it is the full width of the image. Now we're gonna pop over back to the radius for a minute. Like I was saying a minute ago, uh, we have the option to change the radius of each image. So we're gonna pop back over to the section settings and under box image radius, we can raise it or we can lower it. Now, a general rule of thumb here is to have the inside radius. If you have two things, an inside and an outside, you should have the inside radius about half of what the outside radius is. So because my outside radius here is 16, we're gonna have this one set to eight. Okay, we're gonna pop back to the block settings. Uh, so yeah, we, we've made it full width. If we didn't make it full width and we had it something like 185, for example, we have the option to change the position of the image. We're going to make it full width though. And then we can start playing around with the heading. We could say, learn how to make any link or button jump to a section. And then you can change the size of that heading. We're gonna keep it nice and small. Let's go 20 and then we can also change the heading there. Uh, the, sorry, the heading color as well. We'll make it purple and then we can make the heading center, left or right. We're gonna keep it left. Uh, and then we have the option if we'd like to display a an arrow with the heading on hover. So you'll see here, if I click that, when I hover over this box, this cool little arrow shows up on the heading. And this goes a long way to show that a, a box is clickable. A lot of people think it's just there for show, um, but this goes a long way to, to show that it's clickable. So I typically wouldn't have the arrow and the and the uh, button on the same one, I would choose one or the other. For now, we're gonna keep the arrow, uh, just because I wanna show you in a minute how to remove the button if you'd like to. Um, next, we can change the text description. So we could say, click this video to learn more about how to link to any section without an app. And then we can increase or decrease the size here. We're gonna go 15. Again, we can change the text color if we'd like. Uh, we'll keep this black. We can change the alignment. Uh, and then we can change the button itself. So whether or not you have a button, you can still make the entire box clickable. So uh, by, by adding a link here that makes the entire box clickable. So let's say we wanted to link to uh, our collection of sections and blocks. We add the link there and then we can choose to customize the button label. So we can say, oh, actually, sorry. For this exact example, we're gonna link to this YouTube video, huh? We don't wanna go to the sections and blocks. We'll link to this YouTube video. 
and we could say, watch this video. And you'll see that this button over here, uh, also when I hover over it, has a an arrow that moves as well. So again, like I was saying, I wouldn't have this arrow and a button. So if you want to make this block clickable, but not have a button, you simply remove the button label and the the box will still be clickable, but you won't see that button anymore. So for the sake of finishing these customizations and showing you the button color and options and stuff like that, we're going to keep the button here, uh, which means I'm going to remove the arrow from the heading. So I'll uncheck that. And then we have the option to open a link in a new tab. In this case, I would want to do that because this, this is a link that is taking someone away from my website. So I, I don't want my website to close. I'm going to open the link in a new tab so that they stay on my website. And then we can choose the button alignment options. And then we can choose the colors. We can make the background purple. We can keep the, the text white, or we can make it yellow or blue or green. We'll keep it white. We can change the button size here. We'll make it nice and small. Um, and then the button background on hover, uh, as, as you can see, it's still green. When I hover over it, it turns green. We will make it that same purple, but maybe slightly darker so that when we hover, there's just a slight effect there. And that is it. Our block is done. And uh, at this point, you then go through and do the same settings for all the other blocks. Now, there is a little trick here. Most of the time when you're setting up these blocks, you want them to look the same. So instead of going through every single block and adding those all those same customizations, I like to come here and I actually delete these other blocks. And because we have this section set to full width, regardless of how many sections you add, uh, it's going to make, make it full width. So in this case, we only have one right now that's made it full width. Uh, but then we can come to the top right of this block, click these three dots and hit duplicate. And we can do that for as many uh, columns we want to add here. So we've duplicated this block. So now we don't have to go through and change the font size, colors, all that kind of stuff. Again, all of that is there. We now just go through each block to change what we need to change. So we could change this image to this. We could change this image to this. And I'm not going to go through and change the heading and all that kind of stuff, but I'll let you play around and do that if you'd like. Again, you could come here. Let's say you don't want this one to have a button. You could remove the button font here, um, but it's still clickable and will still open that link in a new tab. So that is fancy multi columns. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. I can't wait to see what you do with it. And uh, thanks for supporting us here at brandstack.co.